Thank you for joining me on this tutorial. We're going to take a look at form objects in Servoi 4.0. It's very easy to add objects to forms. You just open up a form in the forms editor and place one of the types of items on there. You can place fields, labels, media, buttons, Java beans or Java applets, and portals and tab panels. So now we'll pop over to Servoi Developer and I have my sample solution intro to form objects. I'm going to expand it and expand the forms node. And I have two forms, very simple forms, customers and orders. So I'm going to right click on customers to open it up. And I'm going to right click orders to open it up in the form designer as well. All right, so we have two simple forms. Let's start with our blank form, which is our customers form. I'm going to come over here and maximize the form area so we're not too distracted by everything else. There we go. All right, so one of the first things that we're going to take a look at, and the thing that you're going to probably add the most to your forms, is fields. So I can come over here and click on the fields, and I'll see a list of all of the columns that are in my table or my view. And that's listed here, as well as any, any calculations, form variables, globals, aggregates, and also any related columns as well. So right now I'm just going to place on here a few field so you get the idea. And now I have all of my field objects on this form. So that's pretty straightforward. I can drag and drop them, copy paste them, move them all around. The next type of object that I'm going to place is a label. So as I place the fields, I told Servoy to also place the labels for me. So that's what a label looks like. But I could place another label if I wanted to click it and then come over here and I can do all kinds of things to this label. I can just double click it and I'll get a type editor so I can start typing it in. I can also use I18N or internationalization, which we'll cover in a later tutorial. And I can use the name of fields. I can use globals, aggregates, and all of those kinds of things as well. So placing a label is very easy to do. The next type of object that we're going to place is a media file. And I haven't actually imported any media yet, so let's go ahead and restore this so we can get back our list. And if I come down to media and I right click, then I can say import media. That gives me a picker. I'll go into my documents, into icons, and here's a whole list of icons. I can go ahead and use shift click to choose more than one. I can use a control click to add just selected ones as well. So I can click open. And now it will bring all of those into my Servoi solution. So now I can come over back to my form here. I can click the media, and it shows me a, a list. So I can go ahead and preview these as I click through them to see which one I want to add to my form. Let's add this big negative one. So now I can go ahead and add this as a background graphic. And then I can also add it to a button, which we'll do in just a second. So let's go ahead now and add a button to our form. So here, place a button. And my button has lots of different properties on it, which I can find over here. Show focus, I can attach um, an action, double click, right click. I can also create an icon on there. So I come over here to image media. And if I double click that, I can choose one of these to add to my button and it will add it for me. I can also tell it what I want the media options to be. So if I expand this, I can say I want it to reduce or enlarge or just reduce, just enlarge. Now let's place a bean. So I'm going to click it to place the bean. And this is a list of all of the beans and applets that I have inside of my beans folder. I'm going to choose an eye clock here. I'm going to click OK. And I have my little eye clock widget. Now you're probably asking yourself, that's all fine and good, Bob, but how do I see what I've actually done? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. And now the asterisk went away here. Now I'm going to open up a smart client. Now I can see my, my form. So here's everything we put on our form, including our iClock. So I can come back over here to my form in my designer and Let's go ahead and add a couple of other things. Let's go over to our orders form to talk about portals. 
So a portal is mainly like a data grid. So I'm going to just expand this form a little bit. I'm going to bring the body section down wider. And now I'm going to add a portal. So I just simply come up to the toolbar, click on the place a portal. And now it shows me, hey, look, you already have a join to another file. So in this case, order details. So I'm going to just place a bunch of these. I'm going to choose to fill in the text property as well, because that will give me the name of my columns across. And down here I have my portal object. Let's go ahead and click in this and make it a little bit taller here. And let's save it. So now that I've saved it and the asterisk has come off of the orders, I can view this by either one of two ways. I can go ahead and right click on the orders and say open form and client or I can choose control L. And so here is my orders form with my related portal of information. So this is showing me all of the order details for this particular order. And as I go through here, you'll see that that portal changes. Let's come back over here to our environment. And the last thing I'm going to show you is a tab panel. So here I click place a tab panel. And I can show either a related form or an unrelated form. So because I have a relationship from customers to orders, let's choose that one. And now it's going to give me this tab panel object that I can then just simply click to move. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on. And finally, I'm going to save my, my customers form. This time I'm just choosing Control S. And now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control L to show it in the smart client. So here I have this customer, and they have six orders, and here they are. I have this customer. Here's 14 orders, and here they are. And I still have my portal. So as I go through these records, you can see them change. Well, that's it. It's just a quick overview on all of the different types of form objects you can have in Servoi Developer.